up. Give me a second. Let me go to number 11. And then just send me a join. Thank you. Second. Yes, we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Winter Bash app. Oh my goodness. Winter League, uh, Bristol. This is going to be a fun one. We got a lot of drivers up in here. Um, it's Bristol, baby. Uh, 25%, uh, I think, cautions on. And, uh, yeah, it should be fun. Mm. Are you in the lobby yet? Or? Okay. Tell one to join. Take a couple laps around Bristol. Okay. Just waiting for KY to figure out what's going on with him, and then we will start. Okay. Let me message him real fast. Oh, yo, uh, Kyle, you're on broadcast. What do you have to say? Are you excited? I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be an interesting race. It's my first time racing with the Winter League, so we'll see how well we do it. This gives me, you know, more seat time with these guys, so mm. kind of excited. Okay. Let's say, are you racing or not to KY, by the way? Because we have to start this, so. If he can fix his stuff, I can put him in the race. He'll start last, so. I gotta, we gotta pause him, Trevor. So are you starting it right now? I think. Yeah. The KY Colonel. What on broadcast? I only have you unmuted. I have everyone else muted. What happened? Oh, okay. Okay. Blue screen death. get underway boys qualifying here eight laps should be a fun one Five of Jocko out to the lead. Oh, and Jocko hits the apron. There goes a 19. He'll get past. I believe behind him that is Masu. We'll go on board with Masu. Trevor slides up high. 
he's going to get the run off the corner. This track, a multi-group track, but that high line is a little bit more preferred, but we might see some slide jobs as well as he hits the wall. Monsu gets held up by it. Trevor hits the wall again. Masu, he's trying to dive it in on the inside, and he hits the apron. We'll go on board with Trevor, he'll take us a lap around Bristol. We come to the start finish line. You can see this high line is very, very approved, or uh, very, how do I say this, um, very preferred, couldn't think of a word, but yeah, that top lane is where you want to be, you're going to get that run off the corner, the inside lane is going to be better when you're trying to make a pass, possibly, but that outside lane is where it's at. I believe qualifying is over. Now uh, we'll see who gets the pull here. Trevor did look very fast out there. Masu also looked like he was trying to make moves early. Here, see who gets the poll for qualifying. And it's going to be Scooby. Scooby with a, oh, wait. Yeah, Scooby. Scooby with a 15.4, or 16.4, sorry. Uh, second is Jocko, also with a 15.4.72. Uh, third is 16.5. The... Okay, I'm gonna have you uh, on me just to tell me what I'm doing. Um, how'd the car feel out there? Uh, not too bad. The car actually felt really nice. I had it on, you know, a different setup. Yeah. But it's, the car felt good. I think it's gonna be a good race and we'll see how well I do. Who do you think is favorite? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I really think that it's gonna be Jocko, Masu, myself, or even. Trevor. Trevor seemed like he had a pretty decent speed in that car, but yeah. one person that I'm looking at right now that might be a dark horse is Scooby over there. He seems like he might have a he might have a you know fast car over here. So yeah. I need an invite, by the way. We'll it. do. Well, okay. I'll send you one. Just okay. Blue's carrying death right now. My apologies.
Alright, sorry, Groot. Uh, Blue Screen Death here, people. Well, I uh, get this show underway. It should be a fun show. It's definitely going to be a good race today, I think. We have a few good drivers here that know this track really well. Another guy that I want to shout out to that's been in a lot of controversy today so far. Good old Nexus. <laughs> <laughs> I think if he can stay out of trouble, he might do pretty well because as of right now, while I'm looking at these speeds, he is fourth overall, so. What, do you want to explain the controversy? Hint, hint, wink, wink. Well, the controversy was him and the, before when we did the dirt race, he actually took out the leader. Now, he says it's an accident, but we have to go back and look at the video and see actually what actually happened and the leader still won the race. Thank, congratulations to Jocko for, you know, winning that fun race there. But I think this race is gonna be another wacky, wild, and crazy finish. Oh yeah. Am I good to join or? Yo, is next week uh, Champions League, right? We head to Auto Club? We... And then Winter League is Pocono after that, I think. Or Chicago, one of the two. For let me be a part of the broadcast. See you after the race if I do good. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's mute him. We're getting ready to take the green flag here at Bristol in the Winter League. It's going to be fun, boys. Get your popcorn, get your Pepsi, get some water if you need it. We're ready to go racing. Because we're under the lights at Bristol. Ready to take the green flag. Scooby on the pole, Jocko to outside. We're racing at Bristol, baby. Scooby be able to clear uh, Jocko, but Jocko gives a little bit of a bump. Remember, cautions are on, don't forget that. So we'll go on the backwards cam of Scooby. Look at Nexus go high. He hit the wall, but he might have to run off the corner. Here comes Nexus. Here comes Nexus. He's on the outside. He's going to get the run off the corner. Oh, Scooby blocks him in the wall. Scooby being very aggressive. There's Nexus right on his back bumper. He's getting a little bit of contact from uh, Jocko. And there comes uh, Trevor up in the picture, he won the qualifying race. Scooby just pulling away just a little bit. But Nexus is still kind of there. 
Nexus and Jocko make contact. There's nearly three wide in the back. Nexus making contact with the wall. I think he made a little bit of contact with the 19. Here comes a 45 to the inside. Oh, and Jocko puts Nexus in the wall. That's an interesting move. We'll see what the judges have to think about that. Oh, caution! The 45. Kyle is in it. I think Jocko left. Trevor is trying to hunt down uh, Scooby, I think. Yeah, Trevor's right there. Trevor is caught up. He's going to see if he can make an aggressive move to try and win it. Or try and get up there. Is the 19 using the outside, 18 using the inside. Kyle is around. Kyle's around the front stretch. We'll see what happens there. Is the 19 is all over the back bumper of the 18. As here comes Trevor. He's to the outside of Scooby. He's going to complete the pass. The 18 is not giving up without a fight, though. Oh, the 19, the wall. Here comes the 18, he's to the inside. We're about a good 10 laps into this. The 19 has cleared him. Has cleared the rest of the field. Or it was cleared Scooby, my apologies. We have done about 15 laps here. They are coming to lap 17. They shouldn't have to pit, but the tires might not be the healthiest. If we do it, get a caution, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these guys did pit. Trevor's still leading. Kylo's gone down pit road. So I believe the three of uh, Frank is in third, actually. I think Kyle is still out there. Kyle's still out there. Is that, we'll take a lap on board with Frank here. Hitting his corner is pretty good. He's trying that inside lane. 
which might be a little bit better for his tires, but you don't really know in this situation. That high lane might be better on these long runs. But Trevor's still leading. Trevor is still leading. Kyle up down trying to make his way through the field. So we'll ride and board the Trevor, trying to hunt down Nexus. Is Nexus holding up Trevor a little bit? Could cause Scooby to maybe catch up just a little bit. I guess Nexus is slowing down Trevor just a little bit. I believe Nexus lets him go, yeah. Yeah, he let him go. Trevor's still leading, putting on a pretty dominating performance here. Trevor's still leading. I believe Scooby's in second. No, I think uh Frank is actually in second. Frank gets loose off the corner, is that okay though? Place of uh, uh, what's his name? Um, of Frank, kind of far behind, about half a lap behind here. So Trevor is really pushing it. And it should be good on fuel. The tires is what is really going to matter here. Remember, we could get a caution as well. Folks, shoot, my apologies here, folks.
Okay, so we're about 10 to go here, actually. My apologies, folks. Pressed the wrong button, but uh, we're going to get back in the action. How many laps ago we got, Kyle? Okay. So about 10 laps to go here. I apologize, folks. Just, uh... A little bit crazy here is we see the 19 putting uh, Donnie a lap down. Oh, is Donnie? Since it's up in the corner, Donnie going low. Uh, we only got a few laps to go here. But Trevor is just putting on a dominating performance. I believe Donnie may have got, uh, came and got tires. That's why he's so much faster. Two laps to go here as he hits the wall. He's around on the front stretch. I believe Scooby is now taking the lead. No, actually, I think we've gotten a caution. Yes, we've gotten a caution, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Should only be a few to go here. How many did you go? How many did you go? It's over? Oh, okay. So, uh, who's the top three? Who's the top three? Nexus? Yeah. Okay. So Nexus, Frank, and then Trevor. Okay. Uh, we'll talk to Trevor first. As we have your winner, Trevor. How's it feel? Another win. Another day. You put on an absolute dominating performance out there. What do you have to say about that? Um, just practice. Practice makes perfect. And get it, you yeah, know, yeah, um, just practice um, at least 50 laps a day and get her done. How are the tires feeling out there? Good. Um, you know, I had other drivers saying they needed to pit, and I still had 40% on all my tires back into the race, so. Um, I don't see why they needed the pit, but um, I just conserved my tires, didn't worry about running the fastest lap every lap, 
and um, just uh, went out there and beat them. What does this do for your confidence heading into, uh, I think, Pocono is the next race? Um, I know I'm not going to be the favorite in Pocono because it's, it's one of my um, least um, favorite tracks and least... Uh, I don't do very well at Pocono, but um, just hope to go in there and have a good points day. Alright, well, uh, congrats on your win. Thanks. Alright, so we'll see. Frank, unfortunately, is not going to be able to talk to us, so let's get an interview from Nexus. Nexus Combat, your third place finisher. How's yes. it feel? Feels good, honestly. I mean, after the catastrophe that's been both my first two, my first three starts of the year, and also the catastrophe that happened this today. Uh, it's a good rebound. I didn't really do anything stupid, so that's a plus. Of um, just got. I don't know what happened with the 45, but put me in the wall and I fell back and I somehow came back, finished there. And I'm really proud of this. And uh, how were the know, uh, tires feeling out there? Tires were loose. Like around 17 to go, I. It, I looked up and I saw, well, the right front's at like 36, so we might actually have to pit, but then me and t I just rim ride the entire last couple of laps and got myself a good finish. So, um, Any final words? Uh, nah, not really. It's just really excited for whatever the next race is. In, race is Pocono. To get Pocono. To oh, God, I'm not going to win there. All right, <laughs> hoping, to get, hoping to get top 10 there. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Alright, All right. congrats. Good, thank you. Alright, so... Um... We'll meet that guy, and I think that's going to do it for the end of the broadcast. Kyle, any last words? It was a pretty good race. I'm proud of these guys. You know, especially for me, I just didn't have the race set up underneath me, and... So, but will happen next time. I will be better as so. Hey, good job to Trevor, and I want to say good job to the guys in the Winter League, and get them next time. Alright. I want to thank everyone for watching. Congrats to Trevor. We'll see y'all next time.